<laughs> hey kids, how's everybody out there in YouTube land today? We're making a real simple dinner, something that I've made my entire life. It's something actually my mom used to make for me when I was a kid. And it's just, it's just stupid simple. Browning off some hamburger meat. See it right there. I will add to the hamburger meat. Here, let me show you the key ingredients. Taco seasoning. We'll go in with the hamburger meat, so it'll brown that up, and you're basically making taco meat. I take some Fritos corn chips, I put them in the bottom of a plate, put the meat on top, a little shredded uh, lettuce, a little shredded uh, tomato, cut up tomato, maybe some onion if you like. Um, top that with some shredded cheese, and there you go, home style, home style tacos. Um, without a taco shell, instead of having a, I find trying to pick up whether they're soft or hard, I find picking up a taco shell can be pretty messy. This home style method seems to be more effective for us. So that's what we're doing. And one of the keys to this is getting your hamburger uh, pretty well pretty well broken up. I like it to be in, in small little pieces. I don't like big, you know, I don't want hamburger steaks in there, big chunks. I'm not making a fajita where I want larger pieces. I want it to be you know, pretty much broke it up into small pieces and then uh, let it brown. I like a good, uh, a fairly fatty hamburger since you're frying this and then adding the juices to it. Um, it, it I like to use like a, well, nothing leaner than like an 80-20. Uh, 70 30 might be a little too fat, but somewhere in the middle there would be all right. Um, and if you guys don't know that they sell hamburger in different grades uh, and it's the it's the fat to meat ratio 80 20 is 80 percent meat 20 percent fat 70 30 obviously the same thing so so that's it this is how we're making it it's really super simple it'll take me I don't know it takes longer to brown the meat than anything else everything else goes together pretty quickly takes a little time to dice up the lettuce and tomatoes but and onions if you want to do that I like cooking it in my cast iron skillet although it then requires my skillet to go through a pretty good cleaning to get the taco seasoning back out of it um, those cast iron tends to have pretty good sized pores but it works just fine for me I've had this cast iron skillet for years and years and years. In fact, I believe this was my grandmother's, if I remember correctly. I believe this was mom's, and before mom, it was my grandmother's. One of the few things that I've held on to in my life. So, when I get lettuce, I like, I like to get the living head type lettuce. And see, it's got the root structure on the bottom. It's alive, it's fresh as can possibly be. I'll break off some leaves of that, put that here together, and then. Lettuce should be torn and not cut. I don't, I'm not a big advocate of taking a knife to lettuce. I just tear it up into bite-sized pieces. I do the same thing even if I am making a salad. So there's that. And then tomatoes, usually, you know, obviously I prefer them fresh in my own garden, but right now in my little apartment I don't have I'm out of there. I don't have the ability to garden, so I buy these pretty little assortments and then have to go through and take care of the calls, but I just, I could, you could dice these up, but I'm just going to go ahead and put some in there on top of the lettuce just to have them go that way. I don't know about you, but my favorite tomatoes are, hmm. These little ones, they come, come like that, they're great. Alright, so I've got the hamburger going here. It is basically done, it's done cooking. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the taco seasoning to that. I'm just buying inexpensive 
store brand taco seasonings. You can feel free to use whatever you like. And then I also like to add a little water to it. I also like to add just a little bit of water to help it get out and around. To help the uh, taco seasoning get evenly dispersed. If you have it too dry, it tends not to do anything. There you go. I've turned my heat way down. Let me get my heat, my fire back up on. Look how messy my stove is, huh? Oh gosh, it's disgusting. I was making some stuff on here the other day, and I just made a big mess with it. So, and I have not cleaned it up. Why haven't I cleaned it up? Because I, I hurt my, I hurt my butt. True story. No reason. Kids, when you get older, sometimes you wake up in the morning and you're just in pain. For absolutely no reason whatsoever. My, uh, I woke up the other day and my left butt cheek was just killing me. My hip and butt cheek, extremely painful. And now just a couple weeks earlier than that, it was my right side. So I'm thinking maybe it's the bed and the way I'm sleeping on it. I don't know. Anyway, I got that all done. Uh, cheese, I need cheese. And since I'm eating tacos, I'm gonna have a beer with my cheese. Gotta have a beer with tacos, right? All right. So I think we're, I think we're ready for assemblage now. So let me move you over here. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. All right. No, I don't need that anymore. I like using a pie plate because it's got nice depth to it. All right. So the first thing I do, put a layer of Frito corn chips down. Now you can do this as heavy or as light as you like. I like to just get enough of them in there so that I'm covering the bottom of the pan for the most part. And the next thing I'm going to do is get my ground beef mixture here. And I'm going to layer that out all over the pan. Oh, that smells so good. Mmm. And get that spread out nicely. There we go. Make sure my heat's off on the stove. It is. Next. Next, I like putting cheese on. Now, if you do this right time-wise, the meat's still going to be hot enough that it's going to melt the cheese. Now, I like to put a couple good handfuls. This is a Mexican-style blend. We'll get the air out of there. Then I add my tomatoes and my lettuce. Now I could add some onion on here. Whoop, that needs a bit more. But that's that's kind of it, guys. That's that's dinner. So grab a fork and off we go. Home style tacos. I don't know what the caloric intake is on this, but basically you've got a little less than a half a pound of hamburger. I drained off some of the oils from it. You've got maybe a cup and a half, two cups of Fritos corn chips. Gives it a nice little crunch and of course you know corn chips have that classic um, I don't know Mexican kind of taste to them. I don't know. And you got some lettuce and some little tomatoes and that's dinner kids. That's dinner, so I like to scoop down underneath of it, see if I can get a corn chip and some hamburger and some of that cheese in there all at the same time. 
and then go ahead and dump it all over myself. <laughs> oh, how typical, huh? Yeah, it is messy to, uh, it's messy to make. Boy, you can't see me there, can you? Let me... Oh, that's much too harsh. That's much too harsh. Eh. There you go. Alright. Well, there you go, kids. There he is. Homestyle tacos. I got my hamburger meat on top of a bed of Fritos. A little less than a pound of hamburger, about a cup and a half, maybe two cups of Fritos. And then I've got uh, a, a couple handfuls of shredded uh, Mexican blend cheeses. And then my uh, lettuce and uh, tomatoes on there. So I don't know how fattening this is, but I like to dig down to the bottom, pick up a scoop where I've got, and this is, it is, it can be messy. So, and it falls off your fork easy. So I like to pick up a fork full. I got a little bit of everything. So it's, we get that great taco -y flavor from the hamburger. The, uh, the taco chips actually, yeah, look at this one. They actually absorb a lot of the juices and oils from it. They're like little corn chip sponges in there. And so, yeah, I got a big piece of tomato on this one. Mm -hmm. Well, how many calories do you think this is? I'll have to eat it up someday. You probably don't want to know. It's really good. Now aside from the taco seasoning, I didn't add any seasonings to this at all. No salt or no pepper. I find the store bought Taco seasoning has enough salt in it already. It doesn't need any more. And of course, the Fritos are crispy salty, so you know. But texturally, it's really cool because you've got this crispy saltiness of the chips. Really, get. Don't knock the camera over. Get. You got the crispy salty of the chips. You, you've got the the seasoned taco meat. Uh, so you've got that meaty but also taco y flavor to it. And then you've got the the coolness of the cheese and the the lettuce on there. So you're getting your greens. Mm -hmm. Then you get the fresh explosion. Or have eaten one of these little grape tomatoes. And of course the tomatoes are fresh out of the fridge so they're nice and crisp and cold. Which <clears throat> kind of cuts the grease of the hamburger and, and offsets the whole meal. That nice cold acidic burst in your mouth. It's actually a very well balanced meal this way. You get the greasy uh, meat down below but that 
strong taco seasoning. You know, I could feel the, the bit of cayenne and stuff on my tongue. Then you get the, the smoothness of that lettuce on there. <laughs> this one's going to be a mess. Um, crispiness of the Fritos on there and that nice corn flavor to it. It's, it's, and then the tomato to balance it out. It's really nice. Whoop. It's very messy to eat just before worn. I put the shirt on because I knew it was going to be sacrificial. This will go right in the washing machine when I'm done. Surprisingly, even with two handfuls of uh, cheese on there, it's not really cheesy. I guess the, the taco seasoning kind of overrides the cheesy flavor. about this is it's all dog friendly because <clears throat> the pre-run cycle is down there walking around waiting for her share. <laughs> See? I eat what I want. I'll put the plate down on the floor and she'll clean the plate for me. Like I said, the pre-run cycle. <laughs> Oh, we'll stay piece of cheese. And of course, nice cold beer goes perfectly with this. My one a day. Uh, got the football game on. I got to pause right now, watching the giant cowboy game. And getting ready for my live stream this evening. This is Sunday, so. I'm gonna go live tonight. I posted another video earlier today. Did a review of uh, the Wisconsin Cheeseman Company. I ordered a package from them and uh, sampled it. Like most things, it had its good and its bad parts. The food quality was very good. The taste the flavors were very good. The serving size was tiny. Tiny. <laughs> most lovely agree. Mm-hmm. I'm dribbling a little bit off the fork. Ends up down the floor. The thing about the the three second rule is <clears throat> mute when you have a one second dog. <laughs> it barely hits the ground before she's all over it. If she sees it, if she hears it. If not, all I have to do is tap my foot by it and she'll be right on it. That's her, that's her signal. For the most part, she's pretty good about that. Sometimes she'll object, but... I've seen her clean up spilt bad sour milk. She really liked that for some reason, I don't know. Of course, any kind of meat you drop. But I've seen her clean up onion peelings when you're peeling an onion. You 
using a potato peeler and getting a piece of potato peel or carrot peel hits the ground. She's all over that. She'll eat it. Piece of broccoli or cauliflower. She's a weird dog. Anything she deems human food must be good for her, so. Hmm. Hey, this is so good. You know, volume wise, too, it seems like it's a lot of food, but it's less than a half pound of hamburger. Like I said, uh, a couple, a uh, handful and a half of Fritos and a couple handfuls of some cheese, some lettuce and tomatoes. Volume wise, it's not, but I think because of the convolutions of the Fritos, it just makes it seem like it's that much larger in volume. Flavors are awesome. Probably do the equivalent of maybe three tacos, maybe four, depending on how much you fill them. Well, it's real tacos that you make at home. Not those little flat, squished out things you get from Taco Bell. That's more flour tortilla than anything else. And you don't get your greens really with them that much. Whoop. If the camera's jiggling, my fur face Hoover is down there. Cleaning up my mess. So Apologize for the camera movement. Hmm. There's a big chunk right there. This is somewhat difficult to eat. I'll give it that much. <clears throat> Having a taco facilitates getting it to your mouth, that's for sure. With this, you pick up a forkful and half of it falls off the fork before you can get it in your mouth. And then because of the convolutions of the Fritos or the lettuce or whatever, it's hard to get your mouth around the whole thing. So. Nice thing is, after eating a lot of the meat with the taco seasonings, <clears throat> your mouth gets a little hot. Throw one of these in there, it cools right off. Whoop! <laughs> Sorry about that. Went to bite in that tomato and launched half of it across the room. Well, that was messy. Takes the heat right out though. Almost as effective as bread. Hmm. And I'm not a big fan of hot foods. My father was. My dad. My dad loved hot foods. He would go to restaurants and literally pick out the hottest thing that he could find. So. Well. 
can see from my camera my battery's about dead. So I'll go ahead and end this here. You don't need to see me watch eat the rest of this, so. Friends, be good. Be careful. Take good care of one another. You guys have a really happy holiday season. Very Merry Christmas to you all. And uh, me and Ms. Lily are fine. We're doing great. I will be putting out a lot of content here this next year. 2022 is going to be a banner year for us, so I hope it'll be a banner year for you guys too. And if you would, hit that, hit that thumbs up right down about there somewhere. Hit that thumbs up for me. I'd appreciate it. All right, kids, be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tonight at my live stream, although my live stream will be out before the, whatever. <laughs>